Hello and welcome to another J. Logano 22 haul video. This is a eh, medium sized haul from mid May 2013. It's mostly Matchbox, so we do have a few Hot Wheels and a few NASCAR things. First, we'll start with the Hot Wheels. I found a few of the Hot Wheels that have been quite eluding me lately. One of what you see in front of you the Hot Wheels showroom subsegment of American Turbo. We've got the 55 Chevy Beller Gasser in the gold recoloring. It's a very, very nice release. Instead of the flat gray, it's got a very nice metal flake gold coloring. I actually very, very much like this release. I think I like this better than the flat gray. This one has been quite popular, like the gray one was, so this is the first time I've seen it. And I picked up three of them <laughs> when I did see it. Like I said, I have no idea why I do this, but see, whenever something's eluding me for a long time and I see tons of them, I'll grab tons of them the first time I see them. <laughs> I think it's got the same deco and everything, but... Eh, nothing special. I mean, it's nice that go, but it should be nothing new. Found the Hot Wheels City, sub segment of Hot Wheels City Works. Got this Street Cleaver. Not sure what this one is about. I don't know why this would be popular, but I just first saw it at a Target when there's only two of them for the first time. I was a little bit disappointed in it because... He does have a bent axle on this one. See how that wheel's like... Down, up, down. <laughs> Thought Mattel got past those problems in package. I mean, I don't know. This is an older model. I think it's from like 2000 or 90s. It's just yellow plastic. Got some flames and teeth right there. Got a chrome rear. Nothing special. But, not bad. Next up, got the Hot Wheels Showroom, sub-segment of Muscle Mania. Got the 71 El Camino. This time done in blue. This one hasn't eluded me, I just keep freeing to pick it up and finally picked it up. H case. Very, very nice. If you remember the El Camino back when there was the orange one, it had a super treasure hunt, which I did find. This one's got a little flaw in the packaging right there. And this thing is just, I am just pissed about this one. This is the Hot Wheels showroom, sub-segment of Hot Wheel Hot Trucks. Cool combi. Okay, this was obviously some douchebag. I mean, this was not getting crushed in the packaging or something. Because, I mean, packaging it'll, can get creased and bent, but packaging doesn't get ripped and smashed and... I don't know. The fact this is so smashed up is just... This looks like somebody who just was getting tired, like I am, of the scalpers taking these so much and just destroyed it. So it kind of ruined it for me. I mean, this was the only one there, so obviously if the, somebody was trying to destroy one for to get rid of a scalper, they succeeded. But, my God. Just screw anyone who does this. I mean, yeah, it might stop the scalpers, but it also kind of ruins it for collectors. I mean, I this isn't something I can keep sealed in my collection, so I might as well crack it. But that is just horrid. That they would, somebody would do something like that. It's a very, very nice release. Not as good as the green one, but nice and orange. Got a turquoise blue base. Got some blue and white waves. White striping. I'm just a little annoyed how this white striping doesn't go all the way. I said it looks like it should go all the way, like, to the edge here, but it just kind of stops on both sides. I think the green one was the same way. That bothers me slightly, but not bad. I hope I can find another one that hasn't been destroyed by some douchebag, but... Still need one to keep sealed for my collection. And last but not least, one back from the H case again that has eluded me and has eluded a lot of people. And it's great to finally find. And that would be the Hot Wheels Imagination subsegment of Future Fleet, the USS Enterprise NCC 1701. Boy, is it good to finally find this thing. This thing is being scooped up by collectors by scalpers and even by people who don't even collect Hot Wheels but any of your Star Trekkers, Trekkies. It's very, very nice. It is a new model. So you got the Star Trek logo right there. Starfleet Corps of Engineers. Specialty. Alternate reality. Starfleet Constitution class starship in service with Starfleet in the mid 23rd century. Features sub light and pulse engines and faster than light warp nacelles. 
Very, very nice. I did actually find two of them. It comes with this base that looks like the uh, Star Trek sign. But it's very, very nice. Got really nice detail for a dollar car. See, it says NCC1701. It's kind of hard to see on camera. But it says USS Enterprise right there. So you got like some gray detail. Got some gold detailing. Gold and blue right there. Gray striping and the NCC1701 on the back again. Most of it's metal except these back here are just some really soft rubbery plastic. Overall it's very very nice for a dollar car. Well it's not even a car. I have to say this is cheating a bit. These are called Hot Wheels so it doesn't have wheels. <laughs> but, I don't know. It's just very very nice. I would have expected that they shove this into the retro entertainment line and get five dollars out of it. I was really expecting them to do that. I'm kind of surprised they just released it as a dollar car. I wish they would reissue this or just make more of them because I mean there's only like one or two to a case. I always hate when they do that. The one that everybody wants is the one they short pack. So you see it just kind of goes in there. Doesn't stay in very well, but there you go. Now let's get into the matchbox. Picked up a few new real working rigs. Here we've got one of the brand new models. Got the Fire Stalker. It's just kind of a fantasy made matchbox model. Very, very nice. Fire Stalker. Got a nice lot of detail. Shovel painted there. FS3. Same on the other side. It's got a working hose. That's about it. Does rotate too. Eh. I'm not too much of a fan of this. I mean, I like emergency vehicles, but I kind of like that. What they have a there's a rear working rig of a realistic fire truck. I know that. I have one of those laying around somewhere, but I don't know. I'm not a fan of any randomly made up model like that. Here we got another new model. Got the MBX All Terrain Tractor. This is another MBX Matchbox creation, but this time it actually is realistic. You can actually find tractors like this with the triangle treads. So this one is actually realistic enough. It's not licensed, but I mean, this one I know exists in real life. I don't think you're ever going to find a fire truck like that. See, this back piece is what moves. Nice little ratchet joint there. Some red and black striping, some black and white striping. Jones equipment. T9000. Guess that's a J. Very, very nice. And also picked up the Case IH Combine. Got a nice cherry red. On the front here, it does spin and it does pivot slightly. And then this little, I forget what these things are called, but <laughs> this thing can come out. It's got very nice detail. It says Case. Axle Flow 7088. Even got some headlights. Not headlights, just lights on the roof up there. Very, very nice. Up here in the Northeast, we see these things a lot, so nice to have one. Now let's just get into the basic Matchbox stuff. Went to my local Kmart to find some new stuff. So we got the MBX Construction Power Lift. Not bad. Nice flat gray coloring with some orange. It says Power Lift MB2000. Lift capacity 2.5 pounds. Warning up there. I think that's what that says. It's pretty tiny. Nice model. It does feature a movable lift. So you can guess get some. Let's. Eh. Yeah, see, it tips forward. That's the only problem with this. <laughs> it can lift things, but it gets so top of you that it just falls right over. Nice model. Got the MBX Heroic Rescue. Got the BMW R1200 RTP Police Motorcycle. Done in a nice new coloring. It's a military police deco. Only found one of them. This model's been popular and never released, it's good. And 
Initially came out in a just normal black and white police deco, then was re-released earlier this year in a, I think it was like a European type police deco, and now a military police deco. It's a very, very nice motorcycle. Got the MBX Explorers 4x4 Buggy. More random useless off-road crap! Yay! Seriously, Matchbox. Cut it down a bit. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I'm getting way too many of these lately. This one does look nice. It's coming off of a more light blue. It's coming off of like more neon blue on camera. It's more of a deep blue. It says Outdoor Adventures, 4x4. Got a picture of a wolf, I guess. <laughs> not bad, but I'm not really a fan of the off-road stuff. Well, very few of the off-road cars. Next up, got the... 2006 fire engine from the MBX Heroic Rescue Series. I have no idea why, but this is my least favorite fire truck casting. I mean, I really have no idea why, but this one I just do not like very much. Ladder. It says County Fire Department, unit number four. Um, what does it say down there? Lock and stow equipment arc. Hose fittings. <laughs> It's nice that they add little details like that, but I can see why they don't, because they're so small, they're probably hard to read for most people. But, not bad. Like I said, it still looks good, I'm just not a, too much of a fan of that model. Got the MBX Explorers Terrain Trouncher. Another off-road vehicle, but I really like this one. This release of it looks great. Nice, deep, metallic purple, and then on the front, or hood, roof... Team Matchbox with the white, yellow, orange, and red kind of old style logo. So that's very, very nice. It kind of looks retro Matchbox colors. So I'm a really big fan of that. I say definitely pick up this model if you see it. It's probably the best off road vehicle they've released in a while. Here we've got the MBX Adventure City, the Fisker Karma Eva. Or ever. Another re release of this. Done in a nice black coloring. Like I said, this is still my kind of matchbox. Just a simple car, realistic. Got its headlights, got its taillights. They got the kind of solar panel roof, but nothing special, nothing out of the ordinary. Just nice, simple deco. That's the way I like it. Next, I've got another beautiful release. Got the MBX Adventure City Chevy Bel Air Convertible. This is the other thing I want more of. Nice classic cars. This is very, very nice. Nice baby blue, Robin Eggs blue type coloring. It's got nice details, silver line, Bel Air on the back. I think this is an older model. This model's got a copyright date of 1997. So, it's very, very nice. Back when the Matchbox used to be really beefy and thick. Yeah, more of these classic cars and simple, realistic deco. Got a couple brand new models. Got the MBX Heroic Rescue. Got the Blaze Blitzer. Another Matchbox created fire truck. Well, this one actually doesn't look too bad. It kind of does look more realistic to a fire truck, unlike that thing over there. Only found one. It's got kind of European S deco. It says fire and rescue right there. It's very, 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 very nice. And. Got the MBX Heroic Rescue again. Got the Renault Master Ambulance. This is new and old at the same time. If you remember, this got released this year already under the Matchbox 60th Anniversary banner. I have a couple of those laying around, but misplaced the open one for the time being. If you look back at some of my past videos, I know I took a look at it. So, this is its first appearance in the main line this year, too. Nice deco again. Red coloring. Got some yellow and white striping. Green and yellow striping. Ambulance. Both decos are nice. I have to say, I do like the European yellow deco of that 60th anniversary a little more, but not bad. Another thing I stumbled upon was I finally got around to getting the NASCAR Authentics NASCAR Unite set. The set showed up at Walmart with, like, shippers and everything, and then now it's starting to show up at Target, so I was finally able to complete the set. I only got a few to keep sealed, because, I mean, these 
cards are just terrible. I am not a fan of the packaging design of these. So it's kind of hard to keep ones, find ones that are good enough to keep sealed. But the ones I didn't keep sealed, I've got a nice Martin Trix Jr. Napa. Got a Jimmy Johnson Lowe's. And got a Jeff Gordon Drive Tent Hunger. See, these are special packaging, too. It's got the American flag down there, NASCAR. Doesn't actually say Authentics on these. Just got a little, like, Unites logo. Limited edition up there. That is new. But I did get a whole set open, so take a look at some of those. Here we got Jeff Gordon's. Drive 10 Hunger slash Chase Visa. This is very nice, because this one was not produced by Lionel, though. The Chase VC Unites car was not produced by Lionel, as is the case with a couple of these, which is what I was hoping for NASCAR Authentics. That's what they really need to do to get themselves on the market, is release things that Lionel hasn't released. It looks like they're finally getting into that. It's very, very nice. This one was released at Charlotte, Coke 600 of last year. Next up, got Kyle Busch's M&M's. I think it was called Summer Salute. This one was released at Charlotte's, and I also think Pocono or something. Not quite sure, though. I'm always a fan of these M&M's patriotic paint schemes. They always come out looking great. Looks very, very nice. Got Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s National Guard Unites paint scheme. Race this at Charlotte, and I also think the July Daytona race, I believe. Very nice. These two were produced by Lionel, as was this one. Greg Biffle's 3M. I have to say, I still am most disappointed. Were there Gen 5 molds? The Ford is the most disappointing. I mean, that just doesn't. The front end just doesn't look right. I don't know why, but I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Gen 6s are here now. Got the Carl Edwards Fastenal. This one was also released by Lionel. Another Ford. Not bad. Got the Jimmy Johnson Lowe's. This one was released by Lionel, but actually this one is different. Lionel released the like normal Charlotte Coke 600 one with the stars on the spoiler and splitter. Or side skirt, excuse me. But Spin Master released this one without the stars. Now this one without the stars was one that he raced and won with in the Sprint All-Star race last year. So that's kind of a little nice touch that they made the Sprint All-Star race version, not the Coke 600 version, to differentiate it from the Lionel release. So nice job there, Spin Master. And now three more ones that were not produced by Lionel. Got Tony Stewart's Mobile One. I believe this one was raced at Pocono. I think he had an Office Depot, just a normal Office Depot paint scheme with the uh, stars on the stuff at the Coke 600, but this is very nice. See, so instead of black, it's blue. Nice red spoiler. If I remember correctly, it was they didn't really go with the blue, though. I think the real car was still black, if I remember correctly. That was another one that wasn't produced by Lionel. Nice job there. And two Michael Waltrip racing machines that weren't produced by Lionel. Got Clint Boyer's 5-Hour Energy. Was a standard scheme with a bunch of stars all over it. Again, Lionel didn't produce it, so again, a very, very nice touch. And Martin Truex Jr.'s Napa Auto Parts. Again, not produced by Lionel. This is a very nice scheme. I'm really shocked that Lionel didn't even offer this. So yeah, that was my haul for mid-May 2013. Decent all. It's been a while since I found some treasure hunts, though. I mean, I really hope I can find some treasure hunts soon. And hope we'll also find those new Fast and the Furious releases that are showing up at Walmart. But, this has been another haul video. Thanks for watching.